Welcome to the release presentation of Catena X. My name is Patrick, and today I would like to give you an update to one of our latest features for the use cases. As you know, the automotive industry is currently facing many challenges. Reducing the carbon footprint, increasing product quality, or maintaining a resilient supply chain. To solve those challenges, a data exchange along our value chain is needed. And our value chain is long, complex, and globally diverse. This is the goal of Catena X, to empower data-driven use cases to tackle those business-critical challenges. We want to build a data-driven value chain. But what keeps us together in the automotive industry? It is parts, components, materials, and vehicles, which are processed over many anti-levels. And those parts are also the basis for the use cases mentioned, calculating the product carbon footprint, improving product quality, or providing a product path for a specific component. Since this is our common basis, we today would like to introduce the industry core. The industry core is a kit, and it is our common basis for all component relevant use cases. In our industry, a component can be described on two levels. First, the type level. Here, the component can be described generally. The identifier is a catalog, material, or part number. This part number is typically created when designing a new component. It differentiates, for example, a six-gear transmission from an eight-gear transmission. The second level is the instant level. Each type will at some point be produced many times in our plants and factories. Each produced part or instance gets an identifier at the end of production. This can be a unique identifier like a serial number or for materials, it also can be a batch number. The industry core supports both levels and describes how a digital representation of those parts, components, materials and vehicles can be created. Furthermore, it can also link your parts with your subparts. This is commonly known as the bill of material. This one up, one down relationship to your direct customers and suppliers is what keeps us together. And it is the basis for a secure and data sovereign data chain. And this is the main principle of the industry core. First, describing a component at a type or instant level to make it identifiable. Second, ensuring that your digital twins can be found in the network by your direct customers and suppliers only. Once those twins are established, if needed and approved, it can enable Catena X use cases to traverse across several levels to create an end-to-end -end data chain, which is needed like for the Supply Chain Act or Circular Economy. Those digital twins and the mapping of their relationship is key for almost all Catena X use cases. It therefore serves as an integrative layer between the Industry Agnostic Data Space Foundation on the bottom and the use cases on the top. The network services like the Data Space Connector, Discovery Services and more are mandatory. For creating and describing those digital twins, the industry core is using the Asset Administration Shell and the Digital Twin Registry. It describes how on an instant and type level, 
components and parts have to be created as a digital twin and how they can be interlinked with your direct subparts. Furthermore, it holds a minimal common or shared semantic data model to ensure that the various applications and use cases can access a common database. It is the lowest common denominator of all of our use cases. Once those twins are built, it becomes very easy to attach further domain-specific semantics like a PCF value, end-of-line data, certificates or product paths. The reusability of these central components ensure a lower entry barrier for new use cases and a high scalability for our network, independent of the use case, since all use cases are built on the same infrastructure. All use cases benefit from each other in making our mission of an end-to-end -end data chain possible. The Industry Core Kit will be available with release 2403 and will be mandatory with release 24.5. Thank you and let's start building up those end-to-end -end data chains.